Hi, I'm Amir Hussein Mirza Bazor, and in this video, I want to talk about metal plasticity in abacus. I will talk about isotropic, kinematic, and user hardenings. This is the table of content. I will talk about what is the plastic region, available metal plasticity models in abacus property module, isotropic plasticity model, kinematic plasticity model, and user plasticity model. Mechanical behavior of metals consists of three main parts, elastic part, plastic part, and damage part. The elastic part can be described by young modulus and Poisson's ratio. The definition of plastic part is more complex. In this tutorial, the procedure of defining plastic part of metal's mechanical behavior in abacus is explained. In the following, several available plasticity models in abacus property module that are appropriate for describing the mechanical behavior of metals are explained in detail. Also, their applications and limitations are discussed in detail. I want to talk about what is the plastic region. This is the typical stress strain curve of metals. This is the elastic part, this is the plastic part, and this is the damage part. The plastic part starts from yield point to ultimate point. And the plastic stress is always greater than yield stress and smaller than ultimate stress. Here I want to talk about available metal plasticity models in abacus property module. They are isotropic, kinematic, user, Johnson Cook and combined plasticity models. In this tutorial, I will talk about isotropic, kinematic, and user plasticity models. Isotropic plasticity model general description. Isotropic hardening means that the yield surface changes size uniformly in all directions such that the yield stress increases or decreases in all stress directions as plastic straining occurs. Abacus provides an isotropic hardening model which is useful for cases involving gross plastic straining or in cases where the straining at each point is essentially in the same direction in a strain space throughout the analysis. Although the model is referred to as a hardening model, a straining softening or hardening followed by softening can be defined. If isotropic hardening is defined, the yield stress can be given as a tabular function of plastic strain and, if required, of temperature and or other predefined field variables. The yield stress at a given state is simply interpolated from this table of data and it remains constant for plastic strains exceeding the last value given as tabular data. Here, I have defined plastic behavior and the hardening is isotropic. I want to show you how to define plastic behavior in Abacus. I go to property module, I create a material, mechanical, plasticity, plastic, and I set the hardening to isotropic. In this column, the true stress data must be entered, and this is the yield point, and this is the ultimate stress or maximum reachable stress in the simulation. And in this column, the true plastic strain data must be entered. And the first plastic strain must be zero. By using this option, rate dependent plastic behavior can be defined. And by using this option, temperature dependent plasticity can be defined. Isotropic plasticity model 
uses mice or heel yield surfaces with associated plastic flow which allow for isotropic and isotropic yield respectively. Isotropic plasticity model is intended for applications such as crash analysis, metal forming and general collapse studies. Isotropic plasticity model can be used in a fully coupled temperature displacement analysis. Isotropic plasticity model can be used in conjunction with the models of progressive damage and tailored in abacus to specify different damage initiation criteria and damage evolution laws that allow for the progressive degradation of the material stiffness and the removal of elements from the mesh. Isotropic plasticity model must be used in conjunction with either the linear elastic material model or the equation of a state material model. In this picture, isotropic hardening is defined in conjunction with elastic behavior. Kinematic plasticity model can be used to model the cyclic loading of metals. The linear kinematic model approximates the hardening behavior with a constant rate of hardening. In this picture, hardening is kinematic and only two sets of data is provided because of linear hardening assumption. Kinematic plasticity model must not be used for applications such as crash analysis, metal forming and general collapse studies. Generally, when the loading is monotonic, the isotropic hardening model must be used. Also, to calculate the residual stress field, if the direction of loading does not change, isotropic plasticity model must be used. Now I want to talk about user plasticity model. If the hardening is user defined, the U hard or VU hard subroutines must be used for defining the plastic behavior. U hard and VU hard must be used with abacus standard and abacus explicit solvers respectively. These subroutines are similar to each other. In this picture, hardening is user defined. And these are constant values that will be used in the subroutine for writing the mathematical relations that describe the yield surface. Actually, in the subroutine interface, we have access to these constant values. These constant are input values to the U hard and VU hard subroutines. In the next tutorial, the Johnson group plasticity model and its applications will be explained in detail. You can contact me by using Telegram and WhatsApp, or you can send email to me. We can have one on one tutoring on the AnyDesk and WhatsApp, or we can make a special tutorials to your order. We can perform high quality simulations for your thesis exercises and industrial projects. Finally, I want to suggest you two related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.